everybody. I'm Kimberly Turner from cookingwithkimberly.com and I have my mom on the show today, Ingrid Turner. Hi. And today we are cooking a honey glazed spiral sliced ham. Fantastic. So this is a little bit smoky and it actually comes with, with its own honey glaze package, okay? I'm going to doctor it up a little tiny bit, but uh, we're going to pretty much stick with this. So it's already kind of no muss, no fuss, but I want to show you how you would cook a spiral sliced ham so that you know what the heck to do. So this guy is already sliced inside nice and thinly. You can see even through the package how thinly that is on that side, okay? And this comes from Shinkles. This is a um, farm here in Ontario. I think it's in Chatham, but I got this at my local Harvest Barn Country Markets. Now there's two locations in Southern Ontario. One is in St. Catharines and one is in Niagara-on-the-Lake and this is from my Niagara-on-the-Lake store. And you can pre-order big hunks of meat like this for the holidays, like yeah. a natural turkey, you can order hams, you can order lamb, you can order all kinds of things, okay? So today we're gonna do this and I'm gonna start off by preheating my oven at 250 degrees Fahrenheit and it's gonna go for roughly 10 to 12 minutes per pound of ham. Now we're guesstimating that this is about a 12 pound ham. I think so. Yeah. I would say. Now, um, it does come with little instructions and it says to put it face down, which we would do anyway, and we're going to cover it with aluminum foil. But it doesn't tell you uh, to add any liquid and I'm going to add a little bit of liquid that's going to not only keep it nice and moist and beautiful, but it's also going to impart some really great flavor that goes nicely with ham and that's apple cider. Oh, that's going to be great. Yeah. So for more information on these hams, you can check out shinkles at shinkles.ca. Um, also, Harvest Barn has a great website that can give you lots of information and you might want to come visit the barn when you come down to our region because they always have really tasty, tasty things, mostly from within about a hundred mile radius and that's supporting our local farmers and businesses and bringing us the freshest, optimal, beautiful food that they can. Yes, they do a good job. Okay, so I've got a large roasting pan for my big boy here. Now if you have some bacon fat, good on you. Put it on in your roasting pan. If not, spray it with some cooking spray just to make sure that things are, you know, smooth when you want to take it out. You don't want anything burning on the bottom, no, that's for sure. No ma'am. I'm going to put this right here to the side for a moment. That is one gorgeous piece of pan. Isn't it? <laughs> so let's cut it open and have a really good look at it. Mm -hmm. So just cut it out of its little package. You don't need to rinse it off or anything like that. This also has a nice smoky flavor. Oh, that smells. I can smell it. Oh, I can't wait. This is going to be so tasty. And it's going to feed your family for days or a large dinner party. Perfect for the holidays, right? Look at the color. It is just beautiful. So here you go. Look at how this ham is just going to slice right off so beautifully. Now you want to make sure that all the plastic is off as well as the bone guard, which is this. Okay, so I'm going to transfer this monster into my roasting pan with the flat side down, okay, to fit to mostly roast the whole thing, okay? You can really see all the slices here now. Oh, yeah. All right, so you're going to hold off on the glaze. You don't need it until the, about 30 minutes before this guy is done. That's when you're going to take it out of the oven and you're going to baste it all, okay? Uh, but in the meantime, we're going to roast it for a while. I'm going to add a little bit of apple cider. You're going to eyeball it. You want it to come up, I don't know, maybe a quarter inch, mm -hmm. just to have a little bit of moisture in there. And I'm going to add some spices that we, we typically like to add. I'm going to go traditional with our spices today, something for the holidays. Mm -hmm. I'm going to put mom, mom's favorite thing is cooking with cloves. <laughs> she loves to cook with whole cloves. Her mom did it. Her, her mom did it. I'm going to put two or three in here around the uh, ham, just in the liquid. It's aromatic as well as flavorful. We're going to add a nice bay leaf or a couple small ones, I guess, yeah? You excited? Mm -hmm. Nice. I'm going to add some peppercorns and I'm going to sprinkle some mustard seeds, whatever color mustard seeds you have or like. Okay, that's going to give you some extra flavor. This will give you a holiday feel. Absolutely. Now my oven is preheated and I'm just going to cover this with some aluminum foil. Now, I don't want it to stick to the burger and take all the skin off. This is not long enough. Mm -hmm. 
to get two pieces out for me? Mm -hmm. we could, I guess we could do it this way. Yeah. No, you'd want it this way because it's so high in the middle. Right. Why don't you take it out of the thing? Because it wouldn't grow. It was stuck. You need it to cut it. Okay, get yourself a couple of lengths of aluminum foil. You're probably gonna need two to cover this. And you're gonna spray the shiny side with some cooking spray because you don't want this foil to stick to the skin that you're trying to cook, okay? You're gonna be really upset because that's just flavor town right there. Real talk. Okay, spray that up. Plus, you're gonna use this um, aluminum foil as well to store it. So yeah, you're not gonna waste it totally either. Spray that. You're putting it with the shiny side in. Yep. So that uh, you keep the heat, you reflect the heat into the meat instead of into the oven. That's right. Now this is actually a Schinkel's Legacy Honey Glaze Spiral Sliced Hams if that's what you're looking for in particular. Okay. So seal that up nicely. Okay, so this is gonna go into the oven at 250 degrees Fahrenheit, and we're gonna let it go for an hour and a half before we glaze it. It's gonna take another 30 minutes after that to finish up. But in the meantime, we're gonna check it halfway through in about 45 minutes, just to make sure that there's enough liquid in there, and all is well, okay? So into the oven we go. That's going to perfume the air, that's for sure. <laughs> All right, let's check this ham to make sure that all is looking nice and well, and we have enough liquid. It's been about an hour. Oh. It looks fantastic. It smells amazing, and there's plenty of liquid. So get it all packaged back up again, and I'm gonna put it back in the oven for at least another 45 minutes or so. 30, 45 minutes. Okay, this ham is about 40 minutes out from being done, so I need to get my glaze package prepared. And what needs to happen is you're gonna put it into a hot saucepan that has about four cups of water and you're going to just heat this through for 10 minutes once it comes to the boil, okay? And that's gonna be nice and soft and ready to baste on your gorgeous ham. So we're gonna take our ham out in about 10 minutes, get this prepared in a little pot. Okay, so I got the water boiling in my little saucepan and then I removed it from the heat, put my little glaze packet in that was enclosed and uh, you want to make sure that it gets nice and liquefied. Now I'm just going to pour it into a little bowl so it's easier for me to uh, access to baste my ham. It's nice and um, liquidy. Oh, it smells so good. It smells like pure honey. Mm -hmm. Okay, this ham should be done. You excited, Mom? Yes, can't wait. All right, now, here we oh. go. <laughs> 30 minutes before it's to be completely done. Oh, and it's got plenty of juice there. And you can see all the little oh. spirals um, coming apart a little bit. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. Now, this is a little bit uh, tricky. I need to turn it so it's on its side and the spiral slices are vertical so that it's easy to um, slice later. So what I'm gonna do is take two forks and I'm just going to ever so gently, there we go, beautiful. So I have my glaze prepared, I've got it in a nice little dish here and I'm just going to baste the entire ham. Now on the instruction, it does not say to return it back to the oven, but that's how we're gonna do it. We're putting it right back into the oven for a little while. I want this to crisp up a little bit and get all beautiful and gooey. Oh, you wanna make sure that this honey glaze falls between those spiral slices. This is glorious. What a beautiful honey, smell that. Mmm. Oh, this is a work of art. Oh, it's all dripping between the, the slices. Mm. Come on. Yeah, they give you a good portion of it. Boy, they do. It because you can even do this whole slice. And that's why I'm, I was glad to see that, that I have enough to do all that. Make sure you get all those nice sides, all glossy and pretty. Uh -huh. Now we're going to get the whole front. Oh, <laughs> man. Whoever gets this piece is lucky, lucky. Yes. And this is going to caramelize up in the oven. Fantastic. Now you're going to leave this uncovered in the oven. I think I'll put it back in at the 250 and just let her rip for another 20, 30 minutes. 
you know? And this should be beautiful and done. Let me finish this off. You best believe I'm gonna use this whole packet up too. And it's gonna taste beautiful with the apple cider. Mm -hmm. If you're making um, rice, it'd be nice liquid for your right. for your rice. Oh man, lovely. That is beautiful. Mm -hmm. Look at this ham. Look at that, if you can see in there. Oh, it's glorious. And then the sides, you can see the spiral slices starting to separate a little bit. Oh, all that glaze in there. Mm -hmm. Back into the oven, 250 degrees for roughly 20, 30 minutes. Finish it off. That's why we took it out 30 minutes early. Well, this ham is begging to be eaten. <laughs> Look at that. So I'm just gonna use a basting brush and use the liquid that I have at the bottom, which is the apple cider and honey mixture together. And I just want this to be nice and glossy before I bring it to the table. The skin is already nice and crispy. Oh boy. Look at this mummy. It is gorgeous. This is ham for days. And it's gonna be a beautiful bone to use in a ham soup of some kind. It's gonna go 40 slices there. Oh, is that what you were counting? <laughs> yeah. You were so quiet, I was wondering. Yeah. Well, 40 slices, that's a lot of ham. It sure is. Ham sandwiches. Mm. Look at this. Eggs it's just ham. No doubt. <laughs> Beaut oh, I love it for breakfast. You're right, Mom. <gasps> Fantastic. So, there you go. Now you're ready to serve it at the table. You can transfer this to a, a serving tray or platter if you like. But we're not doing that tonight. No. We're just visiting the kitchen and grabbing our plates. Yes. But, oh my, it's so beautiful. You could take it up to the table on a big platter and just let those uh, slices fan out. So beautiful. Oh, this is, smells so good and mm -hmm. it's smoky. Mm. Oh. If you wanted to add a little bit of extra liquid smoke, you could. I have a beautiful Manuka smoke spray mm -hmm. concentrate. <gasps> Would be awesome. The only thing left to do is to try this. Mm -hmm. Would you like to cut it? Sure. Look at this piece hanging off. We get to try that together. That's tempting you, is it? Boy. <laughs> Here's the plate. Look at this. You know what? You could probably just use the tongs and pull it. Yeah. I don't think you actually need to cut it. Well, I'm grabbing this little piece here. <laughs> the skin is all glistening and gorgeous ham glazed. Look at this tender, moist meat. Oh my goodness. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> mm. That's good ham. Mmm. Mm. I like it so thinly sliced. It's really hard to do that yourself. Mmm. -hmm. Mm. And evenly. Mmm. <laughs> now the outside mm. slice is a little crispier, but these are just dripping with moisture. Mmm. I just pulled this. You're so dainty and I'm just grabbing it. Oh, that second piece is something else too. Mmm. Mm. Tender, moist, juicy, Delicious. smoky, salty, sweet. Mm -hmm. It's everything you want it to be. And more. Mmm. Mm -hmm. mm. It's really lovely. Thanks, Mom. So if you're wondering, you were wondering how to cook a spiral sliced ham, that's how you do it. Mmm. You heat it through 10 to 12 minutes per pound of your ham. Mmm. Glaze it 30 minutes from being done. Slice it up and serve. Mm. So simple. Delicious. Mm. Mmm. Well, I'm very pleased with that ham. Me oh. too. Mmm. Delicious. So tasty. And all those little extra spices you put in there were good too. Mm -hmm. The glaze was amazing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Awesome. And it was so easy. You know, sometimes during the holidays we get so out of whack. Of, of, I know we want to give food of love and this is still a food of love. They provided you the food of love. But you don't have to do everything from scratch every time. That means you have no time to hang with the family and your friends when they come over for entertaining because you're stuck in the kitchen the whole darn time. Yes, that's true. I, I've been there. Me too. Because I always insisted on doing everything from scratch. 
crash. That's right. But this, I mean, I the, was a busy lady from about five o'clock in the morning till six at night. In the morning, the next morning, <laughs> cleaning up and everything. Yes, that's true. Yes, ma'am, because I would be up helping you. Um, so if you're looking for a beautiful, beautiful uh, presentation, as well as something that can feed a whole bunch of people, you can have leftovers with it, and it's so much easier for you. Okay, this is it. Make sure you pick up a high quality type of spiral sliced ham. This is the, uh, the um, Schinkel's Legacy Honey Glazed Spiral Sliced Ham, and I got mine at my Harvest Barn Country Markets. Uh, make sure that you call ahead of time and make sure they have one for you. Order ahead of time on holidays, Thanksgiving, Christmas, Easter, or whenever. Yeah. Beautiful, beautiful ham. And actually, you could even prepare this the day before and serve this cold with a turkey hot. Yeah, because people love it whether it's hot or cold and it makes a nice change and a nice addition to your uh, holiday table. Well, and even when we would have our big family reunions, our Casper reunions, we would we would eat like two or three times yes. during the whole time we're there at the reunion. Like mm -hmm. we would eat lunch and we would eat dinner yeah. and so and then we'd snack. have a snack bar at the end. So this would be lovely hot for the for the main feast and then cold for sandwiches mm -hmm. or just snacking later. Yes, yeah, so well we make these special homemade buns and they look so good on this. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, so that's how you do it folks. That's how you cook a honey glazed spiral sliced ham. Easy peasy. Mm -hmm. And delicious. and delicious. Fabulous. Happy holidays from our house to yours. And make sure you check out mom's website at ingridturnertoday.com. Follow me on Twitter at Cooking with Kim E with a capital E. Like the fan page at Facebook.com slash Cooking with Kimberly. My shows are on iFood.tv slash Cooking with Kimberly, YouTube.com slash Cooking with Kimberly. And you can find me syndicated on Roku. Come to my website at cookingwithkimberly.com and subscribe. Interact with us and let us know what's going down in your culinary world, alright? Be a champion in your kitchen and eat deliciously. Bye. Bye-bye.